DJ C Major with the flavor. Hello and welcome to another episode of Contemporary Living with Farmer and Hill and we are excited and we are glad that you decided to just come join us on Thursday night to be with us and guess what you will not regret it you know why because we're talking about dating and we got yes, dating coach yeah. Mel Burr <laughs> that's what I'm talking about but wait a minute I know you see the drinks in front of us so I'm gonna mm. let Andre let you know where we are right now. Yeah, so we're here at the uh, Red Star Lounge here mm -hmm. in Richmond Park, Illinois, actually our hometown where we mm -hmm. live at, um, located at 5093 Salt Trail. Um, as you see, we got the delicious drinks that we've got the uh, Apple sip on martini, while we baby. Do our interview. <laughs> so we appreciate the Red Star Lounge for letting us come out to um, do our recording. Please come out and support them. They're open, um, I believe, they open uh, 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. every day. Um, so this is a great location to come out to host your events, come out with your family and mm -hmm. friends and things like that. So we appreciate the Red Star Lounge. We appreciate Miss Echo for making these wonderful drinks. Yes, and we're going to jump right Ms. into Echo. this show. We have Miss <laughs> Melody Bird with us today. Yes. Tell, us, tell our viewers a little bit about you. Hello, everybody. My name is Melody Bird. I am a certified life coach and a certified trainer. And I love talking about relationships and Woo, dating. Let's yes, talk about yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. <laughs> Okay. Absolutely. So let's let's talk about uh, a little bit about you. Okay. So how has how did you end up? How did your life's journey take you to become not only a life coach but yeah. more specifically in yeah. the dating area? What what? How did we evolve to that? Yes. Well, I have dated a lot. Okay. Uh, we, we established that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm actually divorced. I was married way back in the 90s, been divorced mm -hmm. for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I just started talking to people all the time yeah. about dating and relationships. Yeah. And then I got certified as a life coach. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put those two together. Mm -hmm. Dating and coaching, why not? Now, I can't talk about marriage coaching yet. Okay. Hubby, I'm waiting on you. Okay. However, I can't. I just put those those two loves together and I call myself a dating coach why okay. not now you have to tell us what are some advantages of you know hiring a dating coach oh the advantages there are some things that people do when they're dating they don't know that they're doing it I do a lot of internet dating okay and people take these pictures they don't care what the background looks like Ooh. they maybe don't care what they have on mm -hmm. or the pictures aren't clear so sometimes they don't know that they're missing the whole point of even internet dating or regular dating. I went out on a date with a guy the other day and he showed up and his clothes were dirty. Mm. I said, mm, if he had a coach, his clothes would have been clean. <laughs> right. So there are some pointers yeah. that you may yeah. think, it's okay, it's all right, right. just right. throw something on and show up. It's right. not, and a coach can make a difference for you in being effective in your dating. Oh, right. wow. oh wow. One of the things we know like over the past 10 years, 20 years, the dating scene has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, whereas I know at one point, a lot of people were apprehensive about going online and dating. Mm -hmm. So what would you say, our be how has our behaviors changed and what has changed about the dating scene <laughs> itself, you know? Yes. Yeah, Cause I, I look at a yeah. lot of Facebook. <laughs> I'll do, yeah. And I see a whole bunch people of stuff happening. Mm -hmm. right, right. Right. So what has changed? So. Well, pe well, social media has changed a lot and people are using social media all the time mm -hmm. to meet people and not just Facebook and not just the social dating apps. I've met people on yeah. Tinder, Definitely just on Facebook. Oh, Tinder. I heard yes, about that. Yes, Tinder yeah, yeah. app. <laughs> What's the other one? Mo Fish in the Sea? Yeah, or yeah. Plenty of fish. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Married people don't know anything about that stuff. But people have evolved to using social media to meet people, but the downfall is that some people use that as their primary mode for meeting people, and they forget that they can just walk up to a young lady and ask her out or introduce themselves to a young man, and they put up this facade at times when they're on the internet of who they think they are. avatar. Yeah, but it's not really who they are, but I will say for especially for black men they've come a long way years ago when you would meet a young black man Mm -hmm. on the internet dating he would say I'm just out here checking it out but now they will actually say I want to get married so they've made a lot because they did want to get married but they didn't want to say it Mm -hmm. so they've made a lot of progress now in saying exactly what they want okay now Melody we got a young crowd out there that's watching our show right now you know our (laughs) audience can't see them but I have to ask you what advice would you give to them because you know the the men and the women (laughs) may say you know what there's just not a lot of good men and women out there no more I'm tired of the dating scene what advice would you give them well first off is you have to believe that there's someone out there for you that's first off if you think that there are only people out there that they're not any good they're gonna lie they're gonna cheat then that's who you're gonna continue to meet so Mm -hmm. first off is you want to be the type of person that you want to meet and date that's Mm -hmm. first off you always start with yourself Second is you definitely have to believe that there is someone out there for you. And third is you got to take some risks. So Mm -hmm. if you traditionally meet people on the internet, you got to go to the grocery store and walk up to someone and say hi. It's not an easy thing and it almost becomes a numbers thing Mm -hmm. where if you say hi to enough people, you meet enough people, eventually you'll vibe with someone. Or you can join organizations. So there are professional organizations that you can work with, community organizations. That's a great way to meet people. You don't have the pressure of, well, I'm here to meet someone. Right. I'm here to do service. Yeah. And at the same time, if I click with someone, yeah. then maybe we can develop a friendship or maybe something more. Awesome. Yeah. Would you say people have unrealistic expectation of relationships? <laughs> Some people do. Yeah. Some people do. I did for the longest. I don't have kids, and that's because I had unrealistic expectations. Mm-hmm. I said, man, the next guy I want to marry <laughs> right. has got to be perfect. <laughs> right, 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 right. The next, right. because I wanted to have kids right, with him, I right. said, oh, he's got to be perfect. Well, there's no such thing, so I don't mm-hmm. have kids. So you have to be real and realize Mm -hmm. what is it that you're going to accept Mm -hmm. because the person is going to do something. Either they're going to drink too much, smoke too much, Mm -hmm. hang out, don't want to go to work, want to work too much, want to spend too much, don't want to spend it all. It's going to be something, but you have to know yourself and know what you're willing to deal with. So would you say, would you like create a list of, I think the the first thing you have to do and just my own experience, you have to really get to know yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't know yourself you, and you, you're going around thinking you're this way, you're, that's what you're going to attract Correct. and it's just going to bump heads. Correct. So how would you say a person, because you're also a life coach too, yes. so how would you say a person get to know themselves before they even go out into the dating world? Yeah, you, yeah. you yeah. literally have to take time off from dating and really just sit with yourself, which is hard mm-hmm. for some people. Mm-hmm. I used to think that if you sat at home on a Saturday night by yeah. yourself, you mm-hmm. were like a loser, but that is so <laughs> not the case because I do sit at home Saturday night by myself sometimes. Right, right, right. But you do have to sit in the silence, mm-hmm. do some prayer meditation. You got to read some books, go to some conferences, take classes. There are actually right. classes out there that can help you discover yourself. Mm-hmm. One is through Landmark Education. Mm-hmm. A lot of people go to Tony Robbins seminars. Those are expensive. But look around for something that can specifically yeah. help you or right. you may even need counseling. Counseling mm-hmm. is not a bad thing. People think that there's right. something wrong with it. It is not. If you Now you have to do some work to find a good counselor, but counseling is great to help you discover yourself, discover why you're doing what you're doing, because if you have the same patterns over and over and over again, you're going to keep making the same mistakes right. for the rest of your lives right. until you decide you're going to interrupt that pattern by doing something risky mm-hmm. and edgy. And I was going to ask, like, so how would you go about if someone's, should they make a pros and cons list? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this you is what can. I want in a man. This yes. is what I don't want in a yes. man and woman. You know, and do yes. men do the same thing women yes, do? They do. Okay. They do. <laughs> Always on top of their list is can she cook? <laughs> And I can't cook, so I've got an attitude about that. I'll be like, can you fix stuff around the house? Right. It goes both ways. Right. It does, it does. But having a list of pros and cons is good, mm-hmm. but it can't be like a whole page. Like right. I met one guy, he had a whole page, and he said, turn over. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> on the back. 
<laughs> a good list of three to five traits. Yeah. Definitely, you have to have some mutual values, right. some mutual interests. And non negotiables, perhaps. What do you yes, think you about have to think about what your non negotiables Correct. Yeah. You have to think about yeah. what your non negotiables. Uh -huh. You know, for me, it has. You, they have to believe in God because I, I know that's part of who I am yeah. as a practicing uh, Christian. And uh -huh. so you have to decide what's your non negotiables, what you won't accept. Again, mm -hmm. a short list. Because we're all human. There's some right. stuff you're going to have to accept. Right. And then a short list of what you do want. Mm -hmm. So, yes. And, and I'm glad you, you, um, you mentioned God and, and, and being saved and stuff like that. Uh, we know the Bible tells us, you know, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. Yeah. But times have changed. What do you think about <laughs> the woman that actually goes out looking for a man versus the man going out looking for a woman? Because to find means to stu stumble upon, upon uh -huh. you actually, you know, to find means something you wasn't looking for. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you ran into. Yeah. So what do you think about that, you know, as like a believer? Me? <laughs> right. you yeah, yeah. Like you, Melissa. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I ran into it. You it ran into it. It wasn't nothing planned. Right, right, right. It was at a Les Brown event. They had a spinoff right. event right. down yeah. in uh, yep. Palatine, Illinois. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. that's, that's where we end up meeting. Aww, yeah. awesome. See, at a different at event, right? Workshops yeah. and yeah. conferences yep. are good, too. Volunteer yeah. at conferences. You yeah. can't afford to go to a conference. Volunteer, ah, you can go for free, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and just think about it because a lot of times you go to you meet people with like with a like you know like, like mind, mindedness yep. as yeah. well. So when you think of that, and then when we met each other, right. you know we both like community. We both into the inspirational stuff, mm -hmm. and that's why we end up meeting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So 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 you can so question. women women have to make themselves available. Mm -hmm. it, it's not necessary that you're going up and you see a guy. Every guy you see, you like, because it you know I see a lot of guys I like, but every guy I see right. I like, I don't talk to him. Right. But you make yourself available, so you could go up and introduce yourself. I hear complaints from men that um, women now are so aggressive, mm -hmm. right? They go right up to guys and they're like, hey, are you single? Like even before they say, hey, how are you? What's your name? So the thing is, you want to be a little bit more smooth, right. go up, you introduce Coy. yourself, right, and just right. see if you can even just hold a conf yeah. conversation yeah. first, right? Yes, men, they got to take the lead. Some yeah. men, I'm internet dating, some men won't ask for my number. They say, well, I'm waiting on you to offer. No, you still a man. Right. My perspective is men still have to lead. So you want to so be courted? Yeah, so men yes. gotta ask for the phone number. That's still men, in. Yeah, right. men right. gotta right. make that first call, Absolutely. right? And yes, mm -hmm. women can engage and make themselves open and available so mm -hmm. that men know that, okay, you're probably interested in something a little bit more, mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily have to be the one to ask for the phone number. I'll take them out on the first day, mm -hmm. pay for everything. That's not gonna work. Right. Now, now for me as a man, you know, so we t we on a discussion of dating. I, I see a lot of women say they want to be married. Yes. And they be on social media. Yeah. Where's my husband at? God, yeah. where's yeah. my husband at? But when I look at your, the pictures, <laughs> you have naked. You cut people out. Out. You turn it up. You drop it like it's hot. Any man that want to be married, you know, from a, from a married standpoint, yeah. you know, we don't want nobody like that. You know, and, know. And, and to be honest with you, when a man look at that, they look at you at look at you as a one night stand. Yeah. You know, yeah, you may be beautiful and stuff like that, but in the back of our mind, we're not yeah. looking for no, to marry you. Yeah, I know. When, women want to have fun until the hubby shows up, right? So they're busy turning up. They're like, you got to take me as I am. Right. However, women, <laughs> you right. have to know that if you are earnestly wanting to have a man in your life there are some things that you will have to cut out so mm -hmm. yeah going to the club and turning up every week and i still like to go out mm -hmm. and party i still turn up <laughs> right, right. i may not necessarily put all those pictures on facebook right, though. that's right. my that's right. my private you know my private um life and so what you you have to look at what you portray and if you can't look at yourself objectively that's where you use a coach mm -hmm. who can look at your look at you objectively and see are you doing the things that will attract a mate because what you're doing is what you're going to get back. So right. if you're out kicking it every weekend, you're going to be the man who out right. there kicking it every weekend. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to say, well, when are we going to really be together? He's right. like, I got a party, right? So you have to think about what it is, what actions you're taking, because mm -hmm. that is going to then determine mm -hmm. the type of man right. you're going to meet. And, and I believe you and should already be prepared for that. If you say you want to want a husband or wife, you should already, right. already be carrying yourself in that particular manner. Correct. 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 And then, so, you know, every time we talk about dating, it always goes like toward the woman and her responsibilities and what the things that she be, she she should do uh -huh. but i also want to talk about some men the men also what are some of the things that they can start doing to 
make us mm -hmm. more attracted to them because lots of times I hear a lot of women saying you know their men are intimidated you know yeah. you get a lot of mm -hmm. that so what are some of the things that men what are some of the tips mm -hmm. that you can give for men as yeah. well for for, yeah, for dating, to, uh, yeah. for dating, yeah, yeah, and yeah. and it's about the same thing. A, a, a big part is finances. Mm -hmm. Get your finances in order. Mm -hmm. Men, I've dated. You know, I've dated <laughs> some men who they still live like they're twelve. Mm -hmm. Like right. their their houses aren't clean, or they dress. You know, they right. want to save stuff every other right. day, and they but call themselves wanna, bachelors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You want right. that's, you wanna, a, that's <laughs> a justification, know, right? You want to have a home. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a home that's inviting right. to a woman, yeah. right? And and yes. you want to learn how to cook too not just the women learn how to cook so there are some things there are some things <laughs> yes <laughs> that men are to do as well right depending on the type of woman you want to attract if right. you want to attract a woman who keeps a tidy home you mm -hmm. keep a tidy home mm -hmm. someone who's fiscally responsible someone who believes in god who's practicing mm -hmm. someone who goes to work every day i'm a big fan of going to work every day i have a strong work ethic because i'm one half jamaican you know so I, love, <laughs> right. I love a, a man with a strong work mm -hmm. ethic. I'm not a ooh, let's call off and lay up kind. I'm not that right. person, mm -hmm. right? So I know that wouldn't work for me, but right. do what you want to get back. Yeah. Your yeah, yeah, finances is very important. Um, I think mm -hmm. according to stats, over 70% uh, of um, marriages, yeah. they end because of finances. Yeah. I definitely believe a man should um, be able to, ha you know, have his finances together mm -hmm. and that when he become, when he gets his, his mate, that they put their mm -hmm. income together and they join forces yeah. to make, you know, to build together. Yeah. So I also believe in that a man, you know, if any don't work, they don't eat. Right. So I definitely believe in men that should be able to get out and provide and work. Mm -hmm. um, I tell my kids all the time, you, you know, you got to make sure you get out there and work mm -hmm. because we got to be good examples as men out there for our yes. kids. Because if we sit in the house and we're not working and we got kids, guess what? They, they learn from us. From what, they see so right. what they see at home, they're not going to get out and work and right. provide yeah. for their family. So I agree with the finances. I believe yeah. in men being men, getting out there at work and being faithful over the few things that God give us right. as well. And then the other thing I think is important to discuss is a woman should not tie her self-esteem into a relationship. Mm -hmm. She should definitely... Mm -hmm keep her independent of course yeah you have to have yeah. your you have to have your own or separate a man, life a man too because yeah, it can both, go both ways right yeah right. you have to have your own separate life mm -hmm. i'm extremely busy i volunteer with three service organizations as well Damn. as take coursework <laughs> right <laughs> toastmasters yeah, which teaches you about public speaking <laughs> and leadership yeah i'm a member of zeta phi beta sorority been active for 35 years mm. and then also active with my church christ universal temple i'm chair of the singles ministry mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i want some young man to change that though uh, <laughs> <laughs> so but you have to have your own yeah. life you do yeah. Yeah. yeah as you're as you're waiting on your blessing right keep keep active keep right. improving yourself again because then that increases your increases your chances of mm -hmm. meeting a better mate absolutely so where you see yourself in five years in five years in five years i will be speaking as i'm doing now i love speaking call me I'll speak. <laughs> i love speaking i want to write a book uh -huh. yes yes <laughs> Let's get Melissa, that i'm working right. on that right. Okay. Right. writing a book I'll, owning my own training company i love to train yep. and i'm the typical i work for corporate america all my life mm -hmm. and i want to make that leap of faith and start my own company and so i'm looking for a mentor to help me with that mm -hmm. so i have my own training business and then just helping people in any way I can. I believe that my gift to give back to others is service. I feel like mm -hmm. we're here to help each other and we're going to be together anyway. Let's help each other make it a better world. Absolutely. All right, so what's your book going to be about? My book is going to be about how to live a better life, mm, probably getting out of your own way, which is a which is a big one. Right. But it's going to be about um, personal sabotage because mm. we sabotage ourselves. Like things will be going well and then we'll do something and, and screw Absolutely. it up. So it's how to get past the sabotage because you can and then be able to be successful. Okay. Yeah. Any upcoming dates? I, what, what, <laughs> what you mean like dating like a young man? Yeah, 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 well, of yeah. course, I'm always dating. <laughs> Look, you, this is hilarious. So I'm on Tinder right now. Uh -huh. yeah. And so <laughs> I, lo I hadn't been in there in two days and I don't know what happened. I must have been profiled somewhere because I logged in. It said I had 185 men that were interested oh, in me. Oh, wow. I was like, 108? One of these got to be the right one. <laughs> so <laughs> I got a little work to do over the next couple of days. Oh, to wow. Saw it through because internet dating takes some time. I mm -hmm. tell people it is a commitment. Yep. You yep. got to commit to it. So not logging in in two days don't work because uh, uh, I got some messages to respond to and 185 men who want to meet me so Woo. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. lot. <laughs> 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 like that's her. 
Should have been down here at Red Star. Right, right. Should have been there at Red Star. Yeah. And then one of the good things about uh, the Red Star Cocktail Lounge is they do things specifically for, mm -hmm. they have uh, like happy hour for teachers. Mm -hmm. They have union workers. I mean, they have comedy here. They have, yeah. all, so it's, it's a, a dating nice scene within itself. So yeah. like you were saying, to connect, you know, yeah. that, let's not lose that connection. Come on out, get out to the Red Star Lounge as well. Yep. Yeah. Have you put mm -hmm. together any single events? For singles? I haven't, but I occasionally will put together speaking events, small speaking events, and I'll invite people to come out, mm -hmm. talk yeah. about dating. I did one a couple of months ago about dating, just internet dating, and I had several married couples there as well as single people yeah. so that they could do an exchange. And one of the young ladies who left, she did start an internet dating, and she's having a great time. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Excellent. That is well, wonderful. I know, I know, we got time here. Tell us mm -hmm. about Toastmasters. 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 I Toastmasters. love Toastmasters. So for those of you who are not skilled in speaking well, and that doesn't necessarily mean standing up in front of a crowd. It, right. it, it does at Toastmasters. But even in dating, you want to be able to get your point across. You want to be able to speak to people. If you're speaking to people and your conversation is, well, I, um, so, like, you. Right. Right? If you're not speaking clearly, join Toastmasters. Masters is an organization for public speaking and leadership. You're able to come to the meeting, you give speeches, you get evaluated, mm -hmm. and eventually you improve. But guess what else? You get confidence. You get confidence around your communication and how you can relate to other people. And also, where can we find you at if someone was were interested in yes. you or they wanted to contact you for yes. your services and things like that? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can reach me at www.melbirdrocks, M-E-L-B-Y-R-D-R-O-C-K-S dot com or my own personal dating website, www.organic chemistry there's one c between organic and chemistry dot com okay. right. y'all yummy know y'all got that <laughs> <laughs> they, they look young <laughs> <laughs> Although but, uh, you can't tell, I am 54 years old, <laughs> oh, and I will date guys younger than me, but not that young. <laughs> hey, I try. No, I, tried. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, I, I know I'm, they want a cool guy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so, so mm -hmm. we definitely appreciate oh, you yes, for stopping by. Oh, yes, we love this. Yes, we, we love we, this. We, 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 we need to come back. Oh, you know yeah, I will. We need part to have you uh -huh. longer this time. Yeah. We, we got the engagement, then we got the wedding, so we've got a three-part series going on here. And I can tell you it's about some crazy dating <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. So, so yeah. We, we appreciate that. Maybe next time we'll have the, the audience engage and ask sure. you some questions. Sure, I yeah. would love that. Yeah, put, yeah. put you, you know, put you in a, in a, cook, a pressure cooker. Sure, <laughs> I can yeah. hang. I'm ready. Right. And so um, today well, I'm getting ready to close out, but we do have a young man um, that's going to perform for us, um, protagonist. Um, I met this young man a couple of years ago with my son. My son was here in college at Perry State. I'm telling you, he's the next best artist that's coming up. He gives you some nice music, clean music. You would, he got an old soul, I always say. <laughs> he's like a son to me. Um, and he's going to dedicate one of his songs, Destiny Child, to his um, girlfriend that passed earlier this oh, year. No. Um, so we um, have a, you know, we, you know, our condolences go out to her family and you know things like that so we appreciate him for coming out to perform for us today we appreciate melody for coming out mm -hmm. you know sharing with us as well and as always as we get ready to close out we thank god for his unmerited undeserving favor called grace for grace is the total absence of any works you can't work for grace you can't buy it you can't sell it you can't tear it for it it is simply what god has given to each and every one of us because we believe that christ died for our sins he was buried and he rose again the third day for our justification on behalf of myself my lovely wife melissa contemporary living and melody be blessed bye-bye bye-bye
evolution breath. Sing it. Yeah, never evolution breath. Keep it going on. Never evolution breath. Let them know. Never evolution breath. Uh, it go. Never evolution breath. Hey.
I see major with the flavor. 